Hello, this is Dr. Rudy E. Merck, and I'm here today to uh, talk about chronic inflammation and joint health and products that Valenza has to offer to, uh, in this area. Now, uh, these products are not the conventional products that most of you have heard of because we are the human health company, and the human health company is interested in human health and not necessarily selling ingredients. Our approach is that we go out in the marketplace, we find ingredients that we believe will perform, we do a lot of R&D, and then we target human health. We also look at what the uh, negative things are about existing products like hard to swallow, too many pills, etc. So we're oriented in an, uh, in an outcome sort of way rather than trying to sell ingredients. Uh, as I said, my name is Dr. Rudy E. Merck. I'm the CEO of the company. I've spent 26 years in the pharmaceutical industry and 10 years now in the uh, natural products and supplements industry. I have a degree in biology and a PhD degree in organic chemistry. Uh, my mission also is to educate people about lifestyle and other measures you can have, uh, you can use to address uh, some of the issues we'll be talking about in this slideshow. Now, I do want to uh, start off uh, on the next slide with innovation and uh, avoiding commoditization. So uh, there was uh, Steve Jobs' seven principles of innovation, and they're listed on the slide. Uh, the important thing, I think, is number four, is sell dreams and not products. Because I remember when I was a young man and I started to get osteoarthritis, uh, my dad said to me, well, it's just part of getting older and uh, you can't do anything about it and just live with it. Well, at that point, and this was about eight years ago, uh, I had the dream of being pain-free one day and I went out on a mission to achieve that goal. And I think you'll see in this slide uh, show that uh, we have achieved some of those goals. Now, the causes of disease are many, but one cause that's often un uh, overlooked is chronic low-level inflammation, CLLI. Now, low-level inflammation can be caused by too much omega-6s in the diet, and there are other vectors also involved. But uh, low-level inflammation that you might not even notice, but it's happening in your body, uh, can uh, be a major risk factor for osteoarthritis, especially for heart disease, because inflammation of the veins and the blood circulatory system can, has, has all kinds of impacts throughout the body, including eye health, brain health, and obviously bone and uh, joint health. Now, another uh, possible cause of disease and death would be injury. Uh, this could be a long, uh, an injury you receive while you're a young person, uh, but and then long term you would be susceptible to osteoarthritis because there's damage when you're young, but then your diet, exercise, and other uh, vectors such as chronic low-level inflammation uh, can result in a manifestation uh, later in life. Uh, bad lifestyle would be a major cause, smoking, overweight. Overweight causes more weight on a joint, and therefore the joints can wear out faster and be damaged and be inflamed. Lack of exercise throughout life can be a major contributor to disease and, of course, uh, osteoarthritis. Uh, we can't do a lot about uh, natural random mutations uh, and, and cancer because these are naturally occurring things that can be caused by genetic propensity, can be caused by things like uh, exposure to uh, chemicals, uh, exposure to too much UV light, et cetera. Uh, also, the other factor is, and, and you'll notice that there's a red star and a green star in some of these things. Some of these things we can try to approach with natural products and, and uh, supplements. Uh, for instance, uh, 
radiation can be a major cause of disease. Flying in an airplane is like, you know, if you're flying from here to Los Angeles, so New York to Los Angeles, you're exposed to a lot of UV light, uh, sorry, uh, cosmic radiation. And uh, there's some good evidence that, for instance, astaxanthin can uh, stop uh, uh, mutations, uh, DNA damage, and, uh, and that sort of uh, impact. But uh, environmental carcinogens, gene mutations, et cetera, are generally not uh, easily uh, addressed with supplements, except for the radiation factor and the lack of chromosomal activity. Uh, viral fungal uh, infections obviously uh, can be uh, devastating and have long-term impacts on your health. Uh, there is something uh, we as an industry can do about that. Uh, for instance, there's a new class of uh, Im immune boosting uh, uh, supplements available from Valenza called Immunum that uh, can address this problem. Uh, mitochondrial uh, dysfunction is another one. Uh, Dr. Mercola is spending a lot of effort in that area, trying to address that through proper exercise, et cetera, but also supplementation. And certainly, uh, uh, we as an industry, and Valencia in particular, can do something about that. And we can talk about that in a separate presentation. Now, the, uh, this slide, uh, WHO, World Health Organization, causes of death. Uh, you'll notice on this slide, uh, uh, you don't die from osteoarthritis. That is not uh, one of the major causes of death. However, the discomfort associated with that will have a, a roller coaster and cascading effect on general health because chronic pain, chronic joint discomfort will lead to more sedimentary lifestyle and have other impacts, for instance, could increase uh, alcohol consumption, et cetera. Uh, the, leading cause, uh, the leading cause of uh, death is obviously cardiovascular. The formulas I'm going to be talking about do have an impact on cardiovascular health, a positive impact. But uh, this is the general area. Again, uh, it's not, uh, uh, osteoarthritis is not on this list, however, uh, it can cause, it can have impacts that do uh, eventually uh, lead to death uh, in a cascade type uh, manner. So the causative factors for osteoarthritis are chronic low level inflammation. I mentioned that before. One of the major causes of this is too much omega-6 consumption. Omega-6 is everywhere in your diet. It's in bread. It's in uh, salad uh, dressings that you buy that are ready-made dressings. And uh, too much of this will cause low-level inflammation. And if the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 uh, is uh, greater than about 10 to 1, uh, that will definitely cause low-level inflammation. Low-level inflammation can lead to osteoarthritis. Uh, ancient man had a ratio of about 4 to 1. In today's society, the ratio is about 25 to 1. So Americans, virtually all Americans, except Americans that use uh, uh, non-ready-made dressings like olive oil and uh, avocado oil is another one, chia, uh, uh, nuts, uh, perilla oil, omega-3s like EPA and DHA, of course, you don't use EPA or DHA in a salad dressing. But these edible oils that contain omega-9s and ALA uh, are definitely good ways to fight chronic low-level inflammation. Uh, being overweight, uh, smoking, lack, lack of exercise, and, and of course, diabetes. Now, I do want to add one to this list, and that is proper diet as far as generally food, a balanced diet uh, if you're a meat eater modest levels of meat along with lots of vegetables and raw vegetables, nuts especially, uh, even peanuts have been shown to have a uh, positive effect on general cardiovascular health and, and uh, inflammatory factors uh, uh, for osteoarthritis. So uh, diet is uh, very important and balanced diet. If you're a vegetarian, 
you've got to make sure that you're not eating things like sunflower oil, safflower oil, soybean oil. They all sound so nice. I know uh, vegans and vegetarians don't like soybean oil. But uh, these oils are all heavily omega-6 oils, and uh, a lot of vegetarians and vegans are getting too much of these in their diet, and they should emphasize more on plant-based EPA, ALA, or ovo-vegetarian forms of those, like herring roe, and uh, uh, omega-3s like a a ALA, like uh, perilla oil, and uh, chia oil. Now, Valenza's joint health formulas, we basically threw out the book on glucosamine chondroitin. First of all, in our opinion, uh, and in my personal opinion, the things that uh, glucosamine and chondroitin are made from, uh, like pig tracheas and ground up uh, shrimp shells, is very disgusting. And uh, I'm not going to put that in my body. Uh, but people that have chronic low level inflammation and joint pain uh, will take some desperate measures in order to try to uh, neutralize this. And so uh, millions of people uh, use GC. Uh, uh, to try to uh, mitigate uh, joint discomfort. Uh, and uh, it's about a $3 billion business, and there's about hundreds of SKUs uh, in this area, and there hasn't been one real convincing clinical trial that these things uh, work. Now, I do know it does work in some people uh, for, uh, when it's used on a long-term basis, but uh, um, I, uh, I believe that uh, there are better solutions, and they include FlexPro MD and FlexPro ES. Now, uh, FlexPro MD is targeting inflammation, especially low level, chronic low level inflammation, because of astaxanthin. It uh, reduces inflammatory markers, and it also uh, is. Uh, very good at uh, 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 increasing comfort of joints all by itself. Uh, the, and there are some clinicals on that. Now, we have a full clinical on FlexPro MD. Uh, Flexuron is the second component. It's a special molecular weight of hyaluronic acid. Uh, it helps nourish uh, synovial fluid but it also regulates the immune response in joints because it's well known that hyaluronic acid derivatives, regardless of molecular weight, do uh, go to connective tissue like joints uh, after ingestion. And uh, this has been shown in science by radio labeling in uh, animal models. The uh, phospholipid-bound omega-3 fatty acids which is the third component, we have two versions of FlexPro. One uses uh, krill oil, and this gives you a full dose of krill oil, 300 milligrams. We also have a uh, version that we have herring roe derived caviar oil uh, for those people that uh, uh, we call this an ovo vegetarian formula. Uh, of course, vegans would not consider it uh, that. But uh, for people that may be susceptible to uh, shellfish allergies, uh, the other product that we offer, and and beautiful thing about this product is that we offer it in both capsules. It's a powdered type formula, and we also offer it in a chewable. It's aimed at uh, soothing and repairing, and this may be uh, more for people that have l low level uh, intakes of uh, protein. Uh, and sources of uh, hyaluronic acid. So this product also contains astaxanthin brand astaxanthin, which, as I said, reduces inflammation. But it also contains the same flexuron as we found in FlexPro MD, and I've already talked about that. But the last component is quite important. It's hydrolyzed eggshell membrane, and this is a source of uh, elastin, collagen, and elastin precursors. And elastin and collagen are important components of joints. And these things are then made bioavailable so that the innate immune system can uh, help rebuild the joint. So both these products work very well. 
Uh, there is a much more rigorous clinical trial on FlexPro MD, and we know it works very fast. FlexPro ES also has some clinical trials. Uh, they're not as rigorous as the trial on FlexPro MD. Now, FlexPro MD is the flagship product, uh, and it has currently, I believe, there are five patents and international patents. Uh, we already talked about the key features, which are on the uh, slide. And remember, again, the uh, phospholipid-bound omega-3 fatty acids in this formula are far more bioavailable than the omega-3 fatty acids uh, found in fish oil and do not have the same propensity to cause burp back or upset stomach. Also, they help carry flexuron and uh, xanthan brand acizanthin into the bloodstream much more efficiently. In my opinion, uh, phospholipid-bound omega-3 fatty acids from both krill and deep ocean caviar, which is our branded herring roe extract uh, that contains no fish oil, uh, are, uh, 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 in my opinion, 10 times more bioavailable than fish oil triglycerides. Uh, clinical trials uh, showed that this product was, and I'm being very conservative, uh, three to five times more effective in glu glucosamine and chondroitin and in people where those things aren't uh, effective at all, it, it's the only thing that's going to work for them. And uh, if you go to uh, the internet, you can easily research the fact that the testimonials for Flexpo MD are uh, outstanding uh, four to five star ratings on uh, Amazon. The product starts working in seven days. We have data that shows that. Uh, I already mentioned the patents and the clinical trial results are unprecedented for a joint health product, an OTC uh, joint health product. And in fact, uh, in the clinical trial, uh, the, the product actually had a better performance than the cl in just comparing clinical trials to clinical trials. It had better performance than Celebrex. Celebrex obviously works within one or two days. By chronic use of Celebrex over time, uh, the performance drops off, and then there's other side effects that uh, may uh, get people to get off it again, and therefore, you know, their, their pain comes back. Celebrex is like an on-off switch. FlexPro MD is a long-term, taken daily product that uh, is uh, very safe and easily consumed, and is cost-effective also. Um, Flex, uh, FlexPro ES, uh, we already talked about uh, the key features uh, and the ingredients individually are all uh, clinically studied. And again, the big advantage here, especially for older people, is that we have a chewable, which is very easy to uh, take and it doesn't require the taking of water. And this is especially uh, uh, important for uh, people that are, for instance, uh, kidney dialysis patients that uh, can't consume a lot of liquids uh, or people that are diabetics. Uh, so this is a great product also. In fact, uh, this, this product is a, is a product that I take myself. Uh, it also has a very nice side effect of uh, the Flexuron does uh, help improve the appearance of your skin because of its content of collagen and uh, elastin and elastin precursors. As you know, elastin is very important for preventing wrinkles and that sort of thing. So uh, the next slide is FlexPro MD, and this is an overview of the clinical trials. And uh, it, uh, it is the new standard of joint health care. Uh, it's one capsule a day. Uh, it is a mechanistic approach uh, to the product design. We're looking mainly to reduce inflammation in the body, chronic low-level inflammation. Uh, the clinical trial was 56 days with, uh, uh, it's a three-arm approach with both glucosamine chondroitin, placebo, and the active arm. Um, 
and uh, glucosamine chondroitin is considered the positive control. Uh, and the patients that went in, or the subjects that went into this did not have confirmed osteoarthritis. They just had joint discomfort. Uh, I'm trying to avoid the use of the, of the word pain uh, because of FDA regulations. So we're talking about discomfort. And uh, uh, it's uh, very important that we realize that uh, discomfort and comfort are very important factors in your in your uh, body and, and, and in your working life. So the first slide, it's a little confusing, this slide, uh, but uh, it, it's the so-called WOMAC uh, testing. And uh, WOMAC is the Western uh, Ontario McMaster uh, uh, Discomfort Index. And this very first sli slide shows uh, the uh, uh, decrease in discomfort after 14 days uh, supplementation using the various, uh, the three components, the active control, which is the blue bar, positive, which is a GC, and the negative control, which is a sugar pill. Okay. Now, all of these gave a result because of the so-called placebo effect, but you can see definitely there's a, at the 14-day level, there's definitely a, a trend in the blue bars, the FlexPro MD bars, that uh, clearly show that it's starting to move away from the placebo effect. Now, uh, the Western Ontario and McMaster uh, uh, Osteoarthritis Index, which is the same test used on pharmaceuticals, and this is not a pharmaceutical, it is not a drug, it is a supplement, uh, showed uh, uh, a remarkable result. So at 14 days, 28 days, and, six, and 56 days, we had uh, uh, 63, uh, at 56 days, we had 63% of the FlexPro MD arm subjects were essentially discomfort free, which is a remarkable result whereas the placebo and GC obviously stayed pretty s steady at about 20%. And uh, again, this, this uh, testing is the same testing done on Celebrex and uh, steroids that are also used for joint uh, discomfort. So it's a remarkable result. The next slide shows uh, the percentage drop of vast discomfort index uh, at 7, 14, 28, and 56 days. It shows almost exactly the same result. Now, VAS uh, is a measure of adult, adult pain. Now, I'm not saying pain. I'm saying discomfort, but the test was designed for pain. And this is a self-assessment test where every day you sit at your computer and you rate your discomfort level uh, using a program. Now, the great thing is that this testing validated the WOMAC testing because the results were essentially exactly the same. Okay, so another fantastic result, and no uh, producer of glucosamine chondroitin has data this good. This is, in my opinion, the only supplement that actually has a very, very positive effect. Uh, the uh, vast discomfort sc uh, scoring, again, was very similar to the uh, WOMAC scoring. So uh, the percentage of pain-free subject, according to VAS, and we're saying discomfort-free because of FDA regulations, uh, we're at 68%, whereas 100% going in uh, had some discomfort uh, at the end of 56 days. Uh, uh, it was 68%. Now, I do want to point out in this slide that it's a steady increase and probably, and we know from actual, we've, we've sold over 600 million doses of this already worldwide, that this 68 number will continue to go up uh, with time. This is a rather short duration test. And uh, uh, we think that uh, the actual performance in the field is better than this and probably re reaches as much as 90 percent. 
Now, I happen to be one of those people that eight years ago uh, I had uh, severe osteoarthritis in my hands and in, in my left knee, and uh, so I was very interested in this project, obviously. Uh, and I can report to you today that Dr. Merck is totally pain-free, and I take no pharmaceutical drugs to address that uh, at all. And uh, I guess that's not really fair. Occasionally, uh, I will have to take like Celebrex maybe once a year. But that's it, and I'm really happy about this result. So to summarize, uh, uh, FlexPro MD uh, has a world-class clinical study, second to none, whereas GC does not, and that's why we included GC in this clinical trial. And the good news is that the effect starts at about seven days of use. Uh, I recommend taking the product in the morning along with uh, food. Um, and we also validated the WOMAC results, which are the pharmaceutical class clinical trial results with VAS, which is the self-assessment score. So we do better than the standard of care that has $3 billion in sales. Uh, we also uh, uh, obviously outperformed placebo. And this is a s significant and historic result. And so many more people can benefit from this. Uh, so, uh, in summarizing, um, FlexPro MD is revolutionary. Uh, in in the words of uh, Steve Jobs, we have not only created a product uh, that is insanely good as far as helping people with uh, joint discomfort, but also a product that's one a day, easy to take and uh, no burp back, et cetera. And we have two versions of it, one made with krill and one made with deep ocean caviar, which uh, may be uh, interesting for people that have uh, may or do have shellfish allergies. I'm not saying that uh, krill oil has shellfish allergy issues, but uh, some people just want to be safe. Now, uh, this is all very scientifically sound. It's tested. It's one a day. It's clinically effective, and as uh, some of you probably know, GC, you have to take two to four large horse pills a day, and there's a very heavy uh, uh, salt burden, and all that stuff comes from either Thailand or China, and um, our stuff does not come from Thailand or China. The krill comes from the South Atlantic. The herring roe comes from Norway. Uh, we believe that this is the gold standard and a game changer, and I'm really happy that my team was able to develop such a highly effective and uh, potent product uh, for people that are now you know, baby boomers. People in their 70s uh, are very susceptible to uh, OA and uh, joint discomfort for the reasons I showed earlier in the presentation. Uh, the deep ocean caviar component of this uh, it can be also made into joint, cardio, eye, and brain formulations. The key feature is high phospholipid content, higher in EPA and DHA, uh, but also higher in DHA compared to uh, krill oil. Uh, we think that that is the basis for a lot of new and exciting products that we'll be coming out with in the near future. Uh, we're going to start off with a cardio product. The joint product is available, but we also have the eye and uh, base formulations. Uh, we believe that deep ocean caviar as a component is, is an extremely new thing. Now, others have extracted herring roe using fish oil as a diluent. Uh, we, since we're the human health company, didn't think it was good to put fish oil into something that didn't have any fish oil in it because the herring eggs do not have fish oil in them. So we extracted them using perilla oil, which is an ALA product. So here we have a mixture of something that reduces inflammation all by itself, ALA perilla oil, and we also have the phospholipids uh, and the EPA, DHA phospholipids that are important for health. 
So uh, we th we're very excited about that. So uh, that concludes the uh, presentation. I do want to say again, uh, thank you for listening in. Uh, if you have questions, please address the company. Uh, we uh, do your own research. Uh, check out Amazon for you know some of the testimonials on this, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll also be interested in the Caviar version of FlexPro MD, uh, which we think will even be better than the original formula. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Dr. Rudy Merck, and uh, I am now opening the session for questions. Uh, there are ready for questions, and uh, if you haven't noticed, at the bottom of your screen, there is a place where you can type in a question and ask me, and I will try to answer as many questions as possible during the allocated period of time. Uh, the first question comes from Russ, and uh, the question is, is there a clinical trial in, uh, process for FlaxPro ES? And the answer is yes. Uh, the individual components have been tested against osteoarthritis, and um, they do have an effect. And we also know that the astaxanthin and hyaluronic Flexuron uh, component has an impact on that, uh, but we have not tested the complete formula together. That testing has just started, and in about seven months, we will have that result. And I don't... Um, the other question is... Uh, and this is from John, and the question is, how does FlexPro MD work? Well, the, uh, the way FlexPro MD works, we believe the mechanism of action is that we have two components that are anti-inflammatory, astaxanthin, and we also know through independent testing that krill oil is anti-inflammatory. And krill oil alone will give a benefit as far as osteoarthritis. However, the third component is very important, flexuron. Flexuron, we believe, stimulates the immune system. It's known that HA does deposit in connective tissue in the body, and that causes, that can cause an immune response with flexuron, this, with this specific type of uh, uh, hyaluronic acid. And that immune response helps the body repair itself. So we believe that's the mechanism. You have something that is causing an immune response, which could be inflammatory, and then you have two things in there that are anti-inflammatory. The combination is what gives the result. Uh, I have one other question, and that is from Jim. And it, uh, the question is, explain the difference between FlexPro MD and FlexPro ES. And by the way, I also want to mention that FlexPro MD is available under other brand names, but by looking at the labels, you can tell that it's a Valenza product. For instance, Move Free Ultra Omega from Schiff uh, is FlexPro MD. Uh, Schiff's uh, Mega Red Joint Care product is also FlexPro MD. And there are several others in Europe, for instance, Dr. Hiddick uh, with his uh, uh, product uh, called, what is the product called? Uh, uh, Mega Rot Arthro uh, in German. Uh, the R O T in German means red. And uh, we've sold over 600 million doses of that. Of course, it's less than 10% uh, of the total joint health market. And we hope that people will realize that this product is probably the only product that actually works. And therefore, uh, the market share will increase and benefit a lot more people. 
So, uh, are there any other questions? Uh, we have, um, oh yes, I have a question here. Is the product ovo uh, vegetarian? What do you mean by ovo vegetarian? Well, in this case, herring roe is a herring egg, and these are harvested as part of the herring harvest. So, uh, technically speaking, it is a egg. In this case, unlike the chicken, the thing that lays the egg actually dies because it's made into pickled herring. And uh, however, we believe that there's no fish oil in this. Uh, the extractive oil is perilla oil, and that's a vegetarian source. And if you are a ovo vegetarian, I think it's uh, a good opportunity to seriously look at this because this product does work. Now, obviously, eggshell membrane uh, in the Flexpo ES product is also ovo vegetarian. Uh, I have another uh, uh, question here from a Deepmar in Switzerland, um, and it asks if it, it, is it recommended to take the product uh, till the end of your life, uh, uh, or are some good months of taking it enough to stop the pain? Uh, we don't know the answer to this yet. Uh, we do know that uh, if you stop taking the product, when I stop taking the product, that uh, some discomfort return. So probably uh, you will you will need to take it for the rest of your life. Uh, I might add that there are some other benefits of the product. For instance, if you get your blood lipid profile measured before you start taking this, you'll find that your cholesterol probably will go down if it's high and your triglycerides will be reduced, and that's a, that's a krill oil uh, effect. We know that krill oil is very good for cardiovascular uh, health. Uh, as far as, uh, are there any, uh, the other question came in from Judy, and she asked if there are any side effects of um, FlexPro MD or FlexPro ES. Uh, the answer is we have not seen any negative impacts, of, although we've sold 600 million doses or more. We haven't seen any allergy issues uh, or stomach upset. We've had zero complaints about the product. Uh, in the case of uh, the Flexpo ES, which contains eggshell membrane, we've had it tested for allergenicity at a university in the Midwest and they have said that they could find no uh, allergen-causing proteins in the product. It is a hydrolyzed product. Um, the, uh, the other, the other uh, point is, is that uh, uh, we have it available in both krill oil and in herring roe extract versions and therefore consumers can choose if they believe they may have an allergy towards shellfish. How are the, uh, there's another question again from a Russ, and the question is how are the products extracted? Uh, Valenza has, operates a supercritical extraction facility uh, where we extract astaxanthin. The hyaluronic acid product Flexuron is produced um, uh, in a pharmaceutical facility, the product is suitable for injection. It's a, essentially a pharmaceutical type uh, production using uh, uh, non-recombinant E. coli. Uh, the um, eggshell membrane is produced with American uh, eggshells uh, in the Midwest. The product is also hydrolyzed using uh, an acidic media and there's no chance of any uh, egg-related uh, uh, bacterial uh, or uh, allergen-causing uh, components in this. Uh, there's another question, and that is from Beth. And uh, the question is, is how is the product different from other joint health products? Well, first of all, one a day uh, uh, dosing is very rare, 
uh, there's, I don't know of too many other products that have a one a day regimen and taking four or five horse pills a day uh, is usually not very pleasant and also uh, since uh, FlexPro MD and FlexPro ES contain virtually no salt, uh, there's not a salt burden that could increase your blood pressure. Uh, the, uh, the other thing that's uh, very different is that there's no glucose amino chondroitin in these products. I personally think that uh, these products are fairly disgusting as far as, uh, you know, where they, where the ingredients come from. They usually come from Thailand or China, pig tracheas and shrimp shells and I don't know if, if that's what you feel is a good medicine then God help you. Um, we have another question. What is the cost per dose? Well, Valenza, uh, this is from Joseph. And uh, at this point, uh, we, uh, Valenza does not sell direct to consumers. Uh, but generally, uh, this is a more expensive product uh, than glucosamine chondroitin because those ingredients are very inexpensive. And as you may know, krill oil is uh, over $110 a kilo. Astaxanthin is about $12,000 a kilo. And uh, the uh, uh, cost uh, per dose, therefore, is much higher, but we have a product here that works, and therefore, uh, you know, what's the value of that? Generally, at retail, the products are between $24 and about, 20, uh, about $29 uh, for a month's supply. Uh, we have a uh, question from uh, Jamie. Uh, and asked if the uh, the presentation, uh, whether the the study has been published, a FlexPro MD, and no, it has not been published and will not be published, because if we publish it, there is, as you know, in this industry, there is a tendency for people to violate patents and uh, to basically take over your business. And therefore, we've decided not to publish the data, but only publish it piecemeal or give uh, seminars about it uh, because patent litigation is very expensive. Uh, and uh, we feel that clinical trial, uh, clinical trials give you actually more protection than a patent. Uh, you can go to Valenza.com and uh, you can also get a copy of this uh, presentation I believe through this website and also from Valenza. Uh, by the way, my email address is R Merck, R M O E R C K at AOL.com. I'd be happy to answer your emails. And I can also send you a PDF uh, or a uh, 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 PowerPoint uh, show if you like. I think that was the last question. Uh, please contact me if you have more questions. Uh, look for the product uh, in the marketplace. Uh, you'll see it under various brands. Uh, we have a exclusive arrangement with Schiff, which is now Record Benkheiser, uh, on uh, in the mass market in the U.S. But there are other markets like the natural products marketplace, uh, where we still have. Uh, 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 licenses available and we also have license available worldwide so that's the end of the presentation and this is dr. Rudy Merck thanking you very much for your attention and your good questions bye